During this video, we'll be talking about obstructive sleep apnea, what it is, how common it is amongst hospitalized patients, and what you can do to screen for it. Obstructive sleep apnea is a disease characterized by repetitive upper airway collapse during sleep. This can lead to snoring, choking and gasping during sleep, and patients in the morning oftentimes will report sleepiness, fatigue, and unrefreshing sleep. When moderate or severe in nature, obstructive sleep apnea is associated with a long-term risk of heart attacks, strokes, and increased high blood pressure. The major risk factor for obstructive sleep apnea, or OSA, is obesity. And because of increasing rates of obesity, the rate of obstructive sleep apnea is also on the rise. In fact, a recent study done at the University of Chicago demonstrated that two out of five patients in the hospital are at increased risk for having obstructive sleep apnea, making this a very important disease to screen for. Unfortunately, in spite of the fact that OSA is a common disease, most residents and physicians do not feel empowered to screen for the condition among their patients. A recent survey at the University of Chicago showed that only 50% of those surveyed felt responsible for screening for OSA. Less than 20% knew how to screen for OSA, and none actually routinely performed screening. Furthermore, education into sleep disorders and sleep disorder awareness is lacking, as none of those surveyed felt satisfied with their training in sleep disorders. There are many screening tools that have been developed to screen for sleep apnea. Although none of these tools have been well validated amongst a hospitalized group of patients, the Stop Bang survey offers a lot of value because of its ease of use. The Stop Bang screen stands for four different symptoms, the stop symptoms, and four different exam features, the bang features. S is snoring. Does your patient have loud, frequent, or bothersome snoring? T, tired during the day. Is your patient sleepy or fatigued during the day? O, observed apneas. Has anyone ever noticed that your patient stops breathing during sleep? P, pressure. Does your patient have or is he or she being treated for high blood pressure? The BANG physical exam features include B, BMI, a BMI greater than 35. A, age, age greater than 50. N, neck circumference, a neck larger than 40 centimeters or approximately 15 and 3 quarter inches. And G, gender, is your patient male? Give your patient one point for each one of these eight features. Studies have shown that with a score of three or more, patients have at least a 70% chance of having some form of OSA, and the degree of sleep apnea increases as the score increases, so that at a score of five out of eight, patients are at almost a one in three chance of having moderate to severe sleep apnea. So in summary, we've discussed how obstructive sleep apnea is a common disorder has important health consequences, is very prevalent among hospitalized patients, and can be easy to screen for. Using the stop bang screen, which again is comprised of four symptoms, snoring, tiredness during the day, observed apneas, and a history of high blood pressure, as well as four exam features, BMI greater than 35, age over 50, neck circumference greater than 40 centimeters or about 15 and 3 quarters inches, and male gender. Using the stop bang screening with a score of three out of eight or better, your patient has at least a 70% chance of having some degree of obstructive sleep apnea. If your patients score highly on the stop bang screen, consider obtaining a sleep physician consultation, either in, as an inpatient or shortly after discharge, or notify the patient's primary care physician so that a sleep evaluation can be undertaken.